it's the mobile home diva and in today's video i am going to be sharing with you model number five we're out at home max in lexington south carolina and this is model number five uh if you're interested in knowing the name of this home and any details that i am not able to share with you today please make sure you go down to the description box and give the dealership a call again it's home max in lexington south carolina all right so i'm walking around the exterior of the home so you can see what it looks like in the back i won't go all the way around but you can see how big it is and what the exterior looks like love the kind of olive green color i'm actually glad that we got the color home that we did because i know something lighter it will show up all the dirt and dust that can accumulate on your siding uh and a home this color would do nicely as well so anyway this is model number five out at home max in lexington south carolina let's go in and take a look Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Huh? It, this is every one of them has done it to me. <laughs> All right, we just came in the front door there, and this is a view of the living room. Cozy little living room. Really cozy ceiling fan in here vents in the ceiling um i don't think i've seen one home at this dealership that doesn't have vents in the ceiling that was a plus and i haven't seen any home so far that don't have finished drywall so that's really nice as well you've got space for your entry table or whatever you would like over there if you want something everybody doesn't need an entryway also space for a huge TV on either wall. And then you've got all of this space here for your living room. Again, that's the front door that we came in. You've got two windows there. So I'm going to go over and give you a closer view here of the living room. That's the master. So we'll come and see that later. First thing we're going to look at here is the dining room. They've got a chandelier in here and two windows to bring in some nice natural light. They also have a long table in here. You can put an even bigger table or you could turn that table this way, put your buffet over here or um, a coffee station or whatever you would like in your dining room. All of this area is your dining room area. So you have all of that to work with. On around it to the kitchen. The kitchen is not open to the living room, but it is open to the dining room. You have in this one, there's the dark cabinets and you've got lots of cabinets. You have basically wraparound cabinets, you guys. You have this big island here that has uh, cabinet space on the end cap that has shelving on the inside, which is nice, like the frosted glass. I think this cabinet space would always also be nice and maybe a dark gray or even a light gray. These cabinets would look nice. So very nice. You've got uh, double sinks here, dishwasher, and uh, all appliances are black. You've got a built-in microwave. Uh, you've got tall cabinets in here. Really pretty. Really pretty. Just a ton of cabinet space. You've got cabinet space in the island there. And I love that they have, versus the vinyl flooring, they have this tile here in the floor 
which uh, is super, super cool. Love, love, love the tile. You don't often see the square tile. A lot of times it is the, the vinyl. So very nice. Lots and lots of counter space, lots of outlets. You've got three over here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten outlets on all this counter space. Love the pen, love the lighting over the island. It's unique. Wonder if anything hangs from those hooks. Oh, that's pots. So pots hang from here. Really nice. And it's also your lighting. Really nice. That's different. Normally, at least I've never seen the pot hooks that have lighting too. So really nice. Let's go and take a look at the utility room. You've got your back door here, space for your washer and dryer there, shelving up above. And then if you like to put something behind the door, you do have room to put a small deep freezer or you can put it on this wall. So really nice. Really nice. So that's your utility room. Super cool. Okay, perfect. Like I said, lots of countertop space, lots of cabinet space, and this isn't a totally open kitchen. That's why you can have all of these cabinets. Got the cool light under the microwave, and you've got this sort of galleyway kitchen, so you can have even more counter space. Really lovely. So we're gonna go down this hall here and take a look at the guest bedrooms. First door to the right, guest bedroom number one. So this is the first guest bedroom that you get to. Really nice. Guest bedroom number one. Has a standard closet. All right, so that's guest bedroom number one. Looks like they're still decorating. So that's guest bedroom number one. Next to guest bedroom number one is a guest bath. No lights in here, but you've got this cool green uh, drywall in here. You've got a standard bathroom, tub, and shower combination in this one. So that's guest bath. Over here, you've got guest bedroom number two. So you've got all of the space in guest bathroom, bedroom number two. And you've got, is this a walk-in or a standard? I guess that these could be walk-ins. Um, I would bring the extend the shelving though to maximize the space, but this is a nice size closet. All right, so that's guest bedroom number two. Spin back around so you can see it again. Guest bedroom number two. All right, and then, and I just want you to understand where I'm, which way I'm going. So I came down this hall and I started on the right. So we've seen guest bedroom number one, guest bath, guest bedroom number two. Now on around the hallway, you have a hall closet here. So you've got a linen closet in there that has four shelves, okay? And then you got guest bedroom number three. This is a five bedroom, you guys. So this is the third guest bedroom. So this is what it looks like. Awesome. You've got your standard closet here. All right. And then you have a Jack and Jill bathroom here. So you've got a transom window in here, standard tub and shower and sink. 
So these two bedrooms will share a bathroom. Oh, cool. Five bedroom, three bath. And this is guest bedroom number four. Okay. So same setup. You've got the standard closet here. And then it connects to the bathroom on that side. All right, so again, these two bedrooms, this bedroom here and this bedroom here share a bathroom, okay? So two bedrooms and they share a bathroom. And then you have a bedroom here, a bathroom here, and a bedroom there. Perfect. So that's your four bedrooms to the left of the living room, down that long hall, and then back through the living room is the master, okay? So here's the master bedroom. There's the master. All right. And then the first place we'll look is the master closet. So you got shelving over there, shelving over there. I will put shelving in the middle over there too to bring it around. And all of that is master closet. And the last room we're gonna look at is the master bath. When you walk in, you've got your double shower to the right. Just a standard shower, but it does have seating in the shower, okay? Then cattle corner here with a window that has blinds and the window opens is a nice sunken tub. And then you've got your toilet over there and two sinks and lots of storage, cabinets and drawers. Really nice, and it has that pretty green in this bathroom as well. All right, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this mobile home tour. Again, this is mobile home number five. I am the mobile home diva. Thanks so much for watching. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button before you leave this video. Thanks so much for watching the mobile home. Mm -hmm.